who doesn't like fall? I love autumn. I love the cooler temperatures. And, you know, here in the Houston area, we have to wait a long time for autumn to arrive. I especially love the color that shows up in some of the trees in our area. It's not like New England or Colorado with the aspen, but still we get a little fall color, which I love. It turns out that in the fall time, trees stop producing sugars by the manufacture of, of energy through chlorophyll, which can capture the sun's energy, take in nutrients from the soil and water, um, and make sugars to energize and sustain the tree. It's a pretty cool thing. But in the fall time, chlorophyll production seems to shut down and the chlorophyll goes away, revealing other colors that have been there all along, but covered up by the intense green of the chlorophyll. These chemicals are called carotenoids and flavonoids, and they show up in the fall to give us those yellows and, and oranges that we love so much. When things shut down in your life, when you're unable to produce as you normally do, what shows up? It's probably been there all along, but your lack of activity and your feeling ported and your usual ways of being reveal the things that have been there all along. Another cool thing about the fall, though, is that as the leaves prepare to drop, to actually protect the tree during the, the harsh winter to come, the veins of the leaves begin to shut down and the leaves prepare to drop. As, they sh as those veins shut down, sugars um, get trapped in the leaves. And those sugars um, feed the production of anthocyanins. Those are the chemicals that cause the beautiful reds and crimsons and purples that some of the leaves will display. When you're shutting down, when you're nearing um, the end of, of an era, the end of your life, what will show up in you? Will you go out with a blaze of glory or will you just turn brown? God wants us to keep producing the sweetness of the sugars, even when we don't need them to sustain us, to be able to let the beauty of Christ show in our lives, even in those times of loss and uh, surrender. Today, enjoy the beauty around you. Enjoy the little bit of coolness in the air and maybe that cool breeze that you can feel coming across your face. But make it your aim to let the sweetness of Christ shine through you, especially in those times when you're thwarted in doing the things that you love to do, to produce and to accomplish. Doing is a great thing, but being the sweetness of Christ when you can't do anything is even more precious. I hope you enjoy this time of year and extract all the good you can. Take in the goodness of Christ and let it show in your life to bring glory to him. God bless you. I love you.